Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I want to tell you about my new iPhone game, and also I want to show you how you can arrange your iPhone apps using iTunes. So before I tell you about how you can arrange your apps on your iPhone using iTunes on your Mac, I want to take a second to talk about my new iPhone game, Gold Strike. You see, in addition to doing Mac most, I'm also a game developer. I've been developing games since 1995. Many of my games can be found free on the web. And recently I've started working on some iPhone games as well. I've taken one of my most popular games, Gold Strike, and I've ported it over to the iPhone. Gold Strike is a type of collapsing blocks game. In it, you play a miner digging for gold. You gotta click on groups of blocks to eliminate them. It's been around since about 2003, and it's appeared not only on the web, but also as a downloadable game, and as a cell phone game in the pre-iPhone era. This new version of the game is a deluxe version, which means it has all sorts of different game variations. Here's a link where you can go to, to download the game. It's available in the iTunes App Store. It's for a limited time only at 99 cents. I'd appreciate it if you check it out, and if you decide to buy it, please leave a review in the App Store. Now, if you're like me, you have a ton of apps on your iPhone. It means you've got screen after screen of applications. It's sometimes hard to find the one you want very quickly. You want to arrange them kind of in an order that you will remember where each of the apps is. Now, doing this on your iPhone is possible. You can click on a single app, drag it to another screen. You've probably done this before. It's very frustrating if you have a lot of apps and want to rearrange them. A better way to do it is using iTunes 9, which has this great feature to allow you to rearrange the apps. So when you're in iTunes 9, you go to the application section after selecting your iPhone on the left. Here you see a list of all the applications that you own. The check marked ones are the ones that are now synced with your iPhone. So you can actually own applications and they're just on your Mac, they're not on your iPhone. You can bring them back on your iPhone at a later time. You can sort them by various ways and you can then look on the right to see all the different application screens and how the apps are arranged. You can then rearrange them by just dragging them around right there. And this rearrangement will take place next time that you sync. You can also drag them to a screen on the right to move the application to another screen. There are a bunch of other cool things you can do. For instance, you can double click on an application on the left and it will take you to the screen and highlight the application so you can quickly find out where these things are. You can also click the X on the screen there to remove it from your iPhone but not from the applications list. It just affects these check marks here on the left. You can also go ahead and search so you can quickly get to an application. If you've got a lot, some people have hundreds of apps, you can quickly find the one that you're looking for. Then click on it and it will take it, you to it on the screen on the right. Another neat thing you can do is you can drag the applications that are listed at the bottom of your screen. So it's usually these four by default, but you could actually remove one, say remove the iPod right there and move it into your regular applications area and put something else there in the bottom to appear at all times. Another thing that isn't obvious is you can select multiple applications. So here I can select this group here and move them as a group. You can see how the icon changes to a stack there and I can move it around on this screen or move it to another screen. Now this is definitely the way you want to go if you have a bunch of apps and you really want to arrange them specifically on your iPhone. It's much better than doing it on the phone. It is a little buggy however. For instance, you can drag an application in just the right way to create an entire blank screen between two screens that are full of apps and there's no way to basically move it all back. However, there's kind of an ultimate undo. If you click away from that screen and choose something else to do in iTunes, it will ask you if you want to save the changes. You can simply say no, go back to how your arrangement was before, and start again. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.